With Hashem's loving grace, today's podcast is entitled, Trigger on the Tongue. The next few minutes could save your life, and I'm not at all being dramatic, and here's why. King Solomon, the wisest man who ever walked the earth, said in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, Death and life are in the hands of the tongue. Well, that passage sounds strange, since when does the tongue have a hand? What's well, a metaphor that's easy to understand, because if the mouth is a gun, then the tongue is the trigger. Not only is it the trigger, but it's the hand that pulls the trigger. Well, people that use firearms know that they must adhere to a number of safety measures. They don't release the pistol safety lock unless they want to immediately activate the pistol. Why? Because if the pistol has a sensitive trigger, then the slightest jolt could make it fire. They also remove the ammo clip from the pistol when it's not in use. Well, those who fail to adhere to safety measures, they've had major mishaps with firearms. The National Safety Council of the United States reports that in the USA alone in 2019, there were nearly 40,000 deaths from firearms, and suicides accounted for 60% of those deaths. We're talking about 24,000 suicides with firearms. Well, tongue-triggered suicides are even more dangerous. We all shudder from the mere mention of suicide, and rightfully so. Yet unwittingly, people who fail to take necessary precautions with their mouths are also liable to kill themselves. Heaven forbid. We hear about someone who is burned with boiling water, then we become more cautious even when we come in contact with lukewarm water. Therefore, I'm going to share with you two true incidents that happened right here in Israel. And hopefully we'll learn to be just as careful with our tongues as we are with a hairline trigger on a 45 caliber Smith & Wesson. A story about a cemetery worker. There was a cemetery worker in the city of Afula overlooking the picturesque Jezreel Valley. Well, a group of cemetery workers from the Afula Burial Society were doing landscape work on a beautiful new section of the cemetery on the side of a hill overlooking the valley. One of the workers, a healthy guy in his early 40s, was so enthralled with the view that he said he'd die to be buried there. That night, he suffered a massive heart attack for no apparent reason. And sure enough, he was the very first person to be buried in that new section. Here's another story from Jerusalem. A young mom in her early 30s, she had already given birth to three healthy little boys. And she was about to give birth to her fourth child. Well, she entered the maternity ward at Jerusalem Hospital, and she told the attending nurse that she was dying to have a baby girl. Well, she had a baby girl, but she died in childbirth. This is no joke. I wish it were, but it's not. Without paying attention to what comes out of their mouths, people often curse themselves without even knowing it. The tongue is powerful. Don't ever say you're dying to do something, and be careful what comes out of your mouth. A loving compliment can save a life, like a depressed person from suicide. But a word in the wrong place is just as powerful as a bullet in the wrong place. And if we don't have a safety lock on our tongues, like the Smith & Wesson has on the trigger, then we should at least filter what we say. That means we have to think about what we're going to say before we say it. Be careful about cursing. Be careful about swearing, because it's all boomerangs that come right back on the mouth that says it. Let's keep our speech positive. And be careful about what we say. When we use speech to pray and to bless people and to learn Torah, we build the world. But the power of building can also be the power of destruction. Atomic power can light up the city of New York or it can destroy it, heaven forbid. Speech creates a powerful form of spiritual energy that can build the world or destroy it in the same way. Our dream is to build a world and our worst nightmare is to destroy ourselves, heaven forbid. So therefore, let's be careful with our tongues and extra careful about how we use them. Our lives depend on it. God bless for a happy long life.